Okay, so in this video, and for anatomy and physiology, we're going to be discussing the veins of the abdominal and the pelvic region. So we're going to take a look. Uh, we're going to take a posterior view of the uh, abdomen here, behind the uh, the intestines, and we're going to first start off with uh, two veins that uh, are going to lead us to something that we've discussed in a previous video uh, with the thoracic uh, vein venous system. So here we have our common, uh, our right and left common iliac vein. Um, and you'll see here that each of these veins has two long veins that are ascending uh, above it. You have the right and the left ascending lumbar vein. Uh, these, right and ascend these right and left ascending lumbar veins continue on, continue on through the aortic hiatus, uh, right through this area here where the, um, where the diaphragm runs and they run into the thoracic cavity and they're actually a part of the azygous uh, venous system that we discussed in the previous video. Uh, you might remember the azygous and the hemiazygous veins that eventually feed the superior vena cava. Okay, And that's what the, these two veins uh, ultimately will lead. Okay, So from that we're going to go ahead and take a look at the hepatic portal system. Okay, hepatic meaning uh, having to do with the liver. So we're going to zero in on the liver a little bit here. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the system that runs within it. Okay, so we're going to remove. We're going to remove the liver. Okay, and here we have a look of the venous system that runs into the liver. There are four main portals that we're going to take a look at. We have the right hepatic vein, the intermediate hepatic vein, and the left hepatic vein. Okay, so again, blood drains from the uh, liver into these veins into the inferior uh, vena cava. So as you can see here, that leads directly inferior to the heart uh, into the atrium. Okay, so another uh, vein of importance, or actually a couple of veins of importance, uh, four in particular that we'll discuss are the inferior mesenteric vein the superior mesenteric vein, the splenic vein, and the hepatic portal vein. So to get a better view of those veins, we're going to remove uh, the stomach, okay, and we will also remove the pancreas. Okay. Pancreatic duct, let's remove these. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's take a look first at the inferior mesenteric um, the inferior mesenteric vein here. Okay, so this receives blood from the rectum, from distal parts of the colon, and it converges here with the superior mesenteric vein into the splenic vein, which as you might imagine, now it's, what's not shown here is the spleen. Uh, this vein here is the location for the drainage for the superior, it's right here, the superior and inferior mesenteric vein. Okay. Now these three, uh, these three veins, the superior. Well, actually, let's talk about the superior mesenteric first before we move on. Um, the superior mesenteric vein receives blood from the entire uh, small intestine, the ascending colon, uh, which we'll see right here. Okay, the ascending colon, the transverse colon, and the stomach, which we've just removed. Okay, so. Again, these come to join in the splenic vein with the inferior mesenteric. Okay, and as we mentioned before, the splenic drains the spleen uh, as it travels across the abdominal, abdominal cavity towards the liver. Um, and along the way, it also picks up the veins for the uh, pancreas, which we, mo we removed earlier. So this hepatic portal vein plays a really crucial role in emptying out your splenic vein and your superior mesenteric vein but it also gets blood from the cystic vein in the gallbladder. Once it goes into the hepatic portal vein, uh, it goes into innumerable microscopic hepatic sinusoids. These sinusoids play a very crucial part in further filtering out the blood of bacteria, which uh, may have been gotten from the intestinal tract. Uh, and also it filters out any additional nutrients that may not have gotten filtered out in the uh, intestinal tract. 
So once this blood has been further processed, then it goes back into the, he the hepatic vein, the hepatic portal vein, and gets emptied out. It gets emptied out into the inferior vena cava, where it'll then be fed into the heart, into the right atrium of the heart. 